I'm Christy Tolliver, and I'm here to talk about the shot. For Brenda Freeze, the 84th game she has won at Maryland. It is a game she and her players will never, ever forget. <laughs> yeah, I remember I couldn't buy a bucket in the first half. I'm Christy Tolliver. I'm the Turp alum. Pass goes to Harper into the right corner. Tolliver for three, counted. I play for the Los Angeles Sparks. Tolliver for three, got it for the lead. And I'm a WBA champion. Down three. Wonder what's going to happen? Tolliver looking for screen. She fires. Got it! Holy cow, what a shot! Harding back the other way. Got it off. We'll go to overtime. get chills <laughs> you know we were down 13 at the half and we weren't playing like ourselves we weren't having that same joy and spirit that we had had that had gotten us there once halftime came you know coach b gave us you know a very motivational speech our veterans our seniors you know they spoke and and what they were saying really resonated with all of us and and what it, all it really was was you know, they're laughing at us. You know, they think this game is over. They don't They don't understand the character that's in this locker room. What are you gonna do about it? Tolliver for three, yes! Tolliver has seven, the lead is cut to five. Right out of the gate, you know, we were able to put stops together. We were able to put scores together. Curry loses the ball, turnover. Here come the Turks, they have numbers. Coleman, touch shot! And then offensively, I think our youth just came in. The shots and decisions that I was making, if I was Coach B, I would just be shaking my head. What a tough shot by Tolliver. And all at once, Maryland team taking off-balance fadeaways and making all of them. Marissa, though, she came up in the clutch as far as knocking down shots. Everybody that got in the game played like themselves and played loose and played free. And if we would have done that from the beginning, it probably probably wouldn't have been in this overtime situation, but everything happened for a reason. Tolliver, tough shot, she made it. You get out look for an easy shot. No, I'll take a spinning fadeaway from 16 feet when we're down by three for a national title. How about that? I mean, she was... Uh, had shown through the season she was built for those moments. Uh, you never know though, right? I mean, just a freshman playing for a national championship title. Came over from Australia to play her college ball at Duke. Hits the second one, the lead is three. Yeah, so Foley hits you know, her free throw, 18 seconds left. We inbound it really quick, get it across the line. Timeout. The timeout we called, uh, you know, the setup was for her actually to give it up to the, the ball to get it back for a flare screen, but uh, she kind of improvised a little bit. Play was actually drawn for me to come off a first screen from Rissa and hit her and then get a flare screen from Crystal Langhorn. I knew as I was reading the play and, and kind of anticipating a little bit because Duke switched a lot, as soon as I came off that first screen, they had that guard-to-guard -guard switch. Great screens by Marissa and, and Crystal to allow uh, her to get that open shot. I came off the second screen and Lang hit me, and I knew I'd have a pretty good opportunity because, you know, it's a guard-to-post screen, so Bales would have been back, and she wasn't a drop, so she had to recover a little bit, and I knew that if I could just create enough space, um, I would be able to get a shot off, and luckily I did. We knew as a staff, you know, as the season unfolded and, you know, even within that game that it was going to be KT that we wanted to take the last shot. Like the detector was going in, did you know immediately? Yeah. She fired! Yeah. Holy cow, what a shot! And then I just remember, like, as soon as it went in, it was like, 
crap, we gotta get back. Harding back the other way. Got it off. We'll go over top. I mean, once I let it go, it felt good. You know, it's a shot that I've practiced my entire life. Everybody loves that three, two, one. You know, get the shot off. Uh, in this case, it was. 987, and we had to get back in transition after that. When the shot went through the net, uh, it was deafening, the explosion. It was something I've never heard in, in all my life in, in sports. The game's not secured yet, so we need to give this stop. And then once that happened, I think you could see it from all of us, just the jubilation. We were just excited because we knew we had that confidence that we had had all these overtime games throughout the course of the year. We had the momentum. We had them right where we wanted them. So I think we were just really excited and we were able to exhale for a second and then refocus for overtime. Obviously our, our team and kids were very confident. Uh, our slogan that year was overtime is our time and we had already been 5-0 in overtime. So uh, once we got to, to the huddle uh, in overtime, we knew it was ours. Foley. Under three, Foley has the fourth. No, no, it's done it. It's funny watching this. It's like, okay, game's over. I hug Marissa, and then I immediately get my T-shirt, like my championship T-shirt. It's like, oh, man. oh, thank you. And then my next hug was, was Coach Jay. And every time I watch it, it's like I get emotional about it because it was just such a special moment, you know, to be 18, 19 years old, however old I was. Uh, I was a baby. I think it was one of the biggest uh, plays and games in the history of our sport. I mean, I, I can't remember a moment quite like it where you've had a freshman, you know, on a stage like that to be able to, to hit a shot with that kind of pressure uh, on the biggest stage of your life. It was a great experience and uh, something that definitely has changed the course of my life and, and, and how I've continued on as a professional and being a playmaker and shot maker throughout the course of my career. One on the shot clock. Got it! Christy Tarver for three. For us, I mean, it validated Maryland as a program, solidified us to be, you know, amongst the best. The University of Maryland, the 2020 Big Ten champions. You know, when you have the opportunity to make a big shot like that, especially so young, especially on the stage that I was able to do it in, it definitely set up my future as far as that championship spirit. That's it! The LA Sparks, they are your 2016 WNBA champions! I've heard from a lot of you that I don't smile a whole lot. I have a lot to smile about today. The wait is over for the very first time the Washington Mystics are WNBA champions. I think anybody who makes those type of shots is somebody that really wants and desires and is looking forward to those moments. And I've always kind of been one of those people. I'm now always going to be a threat on the floor because of that shot. It doesn't matter if, it, if the play is designed for me or not. I know that and the teams know that they have to honor me because they know that I'm going to be able to be a shot maker. So I think that's also why I've had success in championship moments because if I'm on the floor, because of that shot, people have to recognize me and pay attention to me. Tolliver looking for screen. She fires. Got it! Holy cow, what a shot! I'm Christy Tolliver, and that's Behind the Play.